The Three Little Men in the Woods Once upon a time there was a man whose wife died and left him with one daughter. Not far away lived a widow who had also one daughter. One day the two girls were playing together. The woman said to the man's daughter, Go, tell your father that if he marries me you shall wash in milk and drink wine while my child shall wash in water and water she shall drink. The girl went home and told her father the woman's words. Then said the man, What shall I do? Shall I marry again or not? At last he pulled off his boot and said to his daughter, Take this boot which has a hole in the sole. Hang it upon a nail and pour in water. If it holds the water, I will again take a wife. But if not, I will not marry. The girl did as her father told her. The water made the leather swell and drew the hole together. So when the man came to look at the boot it was a fall to the brim. He went then to the woman and soon after they were married. The first day the husband's daughter had milk to wash in and wine to drink. The wife's daughter ate had only water. The second day there was water for them both. But the third day there were milk and wine for the wife's daughter and there was only water for the stepchild. So it was from this then. The wife hated the stepchild because she was prettier and better than her own daughter. Not a day passed in which she did not do something unkind to the poor girl who wore it all without a word. At last winter came. The ground was white with snow and the bare trees shivered in the cold wind. One bitter morning the woman called her stepchild and said, Put on this muslin dress and go out in the woods. Take this basket and bring it back full of strawberries. Strawberries I wish, and strawberries I will have. So cold today that one's breath freezes on the lips. Why do you stand talking there? Asked the woman. Go at once as I tell you. Do not dare come back without the strawberries. Here is your dinner. She put a crust of bread in the girl's hand. Then she pushed her out and shut and locked the door. She will freeze or die of hunger, thought the wicked woman. Then I shall never be vexed by seeing her again. The girl stood a little while crying and shivering on the doorstep. Then she walked on down the road. As far as she could see, the ground was white with snow. I will go into the woods, she said to herself. There, at least, I shall be sheltered from this bitter wind. On and on she went until she came to a little cottage. She knocked at the door and a voice cried, Come in, says. She opened the door and went into a room where there were three little men. Good day, she said. May I please sit beside your fire and warm myself while I eat my dinner? They nodded their heads. So she sat down on a stool in the corner and took out her crust. Then one of the little men said, Give us a piece of your bread. Willingly, she answered. So she broke the bread in two and gave them the larger piece. After a while one of them asked, Why do you wear a muslin dress this bitter day? Ah, she answered, My stepmother made me put it on. She sent me to fill this basket with strawberries and told me not to come home without them. The little man said no more until she finished eating her crust. Then one of them gave her a room and said, Go and sweep away the snow from our back door. Without a word the girl took the room and went out. She is kind and sweet-tempered, said one. What good fortune shall we give her? I promise, said the first, that she shall grow more beautiful every day. I promise, said the second, that whenever she opens her mouth to speak a gold piece, she'll fall out. And I promise, said the third, that she shall marry a king's son. While they talked, the maiden was busy sweeping at the back door. And what do you think she found there? Why, strawberries, ripe and red, hid under the snow. They are for you, said the little men. She thanked them and filled her basket as quickly as she could. Then home she ran so fast that she kept quite warm. Good evening, she said as she came into the house. Out dropped a piece of gold from her mouth. How surprised her stepmother and her stepsister were. She showed the strawberries and told what had happened in the woods. And at every word a piece of gold fell from her mouth. Soon the room glittered with gold. Then the woman's own daughter said, I, too, will go into the woods to find strawberries. Oh, no, no, my dear little daughter, said the mother. It is far too cold. But the girl 
cried and fretted and begged to go. So at last her mother said, Go then, but dress yourself from head to foot in fur. Take this large piece of cake to eat when you are hungry. The girl went out and followed her sister's footprints in the snow till she came to the cottage. She did not stop to knock at the door. Into the room she drew in the corner. Take it and sweep around the back door. Go and sweep for yourself, she cried. It is not my place to serve you. Then she remembered that her sister had found the strawberries at the back door. So at last she took the room and went out, grumbling. What shall we give her? Asked one of the little men. She has such a bad and unkind heart that we can give her nothing good. She must grow more and more ugly every day, said the first. Out of her mouth when she speaks shall fall frogs and toes, said the second. She shall come to a bad end at the last, said the third. After sweeping away the snow, the maiden searched for strawberries. But not one could she find, so she went home much vexed. When she opened her mouth to tell her mother what had happened, how frightened she was. Out of her mouth jumped frogs and toads. So it was from that he I'm on. And every day she grew uglier and uglier, and so cross and spiteful that no one could dare to be near her. At last she died, and no one she be is a single tear. Meanwhile her stepsister had a harder time than ever. Every day she had to sit outdoors in the snow and spin. One day she sat there with tears frozen on her cheeks like pearls. A coach came by. In it sat the young king with his crown on his head. When he saw the beautiful maiden, he stopped and said, Why are you out in the cold, poor maiden, and what are you doing? My stepmother has driven me from the house, she said, and sent me here to spin. And at every word there fell gold pieces from her mouth. Then the king was full of wonder and said, Will you go home with me? Oh, yes, she said, with all my heart. Come, then, and I will make you my queen, said the king.